I'm David Kingsley and I'm the Managing Director of Jonathan Trumbull. The story of Jonathan Trumbull uh, started back in 1971. My father owned Chad's menswear shop in Bedford Street. Uh, I was doing my A-levels and Roger, my brother, was uh, working in London for a company called Village Gate. From college I couldn't work in a, I didn't want to work in a store, which was part of my one day. Found the Village Gate and the Squire shop. Um, worked there for a year in the King's Road, came back to Norwich and father had chads and etc and the ideas were all there. I used to meet my sons in London on many occasions and have a coffee with them and talk about the, the, the business world and on this occasion they both said that they would like to open a shop in Norwich and I thought good and so I put that to my thoughts and, and um, eventually found one in Norwich. Uh, Dickensian names were very popular at the time for menswear shops and uh, we decided that we were stuck for many different names so we looked through the Encyclopedia Botanica and got to tea and found Jonathan Trumbull. In the early 70s there were very few companies making fashion clothes for, for, for the shop. Paul Smith spent a day with me and my father and he took us around a lot of different um, places and we found a few different companies. After finishing my A-levels I went to London and worked for Village Gate as well, um, at the time probably the best menswear uh, company in, in Britain and um, I then came back in 1972-3 um, to work in the business with my brother. For maybe the earlier part of the 70s it, it was difficult finding unusual things and then it's gradually changed as it got into the 80s and then we got into the, the, the brand names and that we changed our business then. Well David and Roger had a good education, they were quite brilliant not only in regards to what we're saying now but they were good in life at doing things and therefore in this particular venture I was quite thrilled with them. We, we try to be different from other shops um, in that we try to um, carry classic a fashion with a twist um, and we searched out new companies that hadn't been in Norwich before uh, to, to be that, that, have that different mark on us. Uh, the early days it was fantastic because everything was new, the King's Row was rocking in, in London, fashion was changing all the time and it was moving and moving. Um, we were selling good price suits and no one was doing suits, we were selling them fantastically. Then everybody started doing suits, we decided to go up market and that's when we got Boss and Amani. So we went up for a better price and we took, we couldn't sell Amani suits for a year. When we had to buy them again and they weren't selling and then Boss and Amani took off and it was fantastic time for all the labels. In those early days it was absolutely marvellous and the boys, my sons, knew what they were doing in regard to the trade and how to go ahead. They were very good in that way. After a few years trading at Jonathan Trumbull, we found that the premises were too small and we managed to find a new premises where we could open a second shop in White Lion Street. Uh, the name came about Hatters because we found an old bowler hat uh, of a shop that used to be in White Lion Street selling, selling them uh, called Hatters. And then two years after that, we opened Ginger, a women's shop next door. And then in 1990, we moved Ginger to Timber Hill um, and took a two year renovation of the building uh, before we opened. Following uh, Ginger, the, we waited a few more years to move Trumbulls to a bigger shop. And in 1978, we moved it to its present location in St. Stephen Street. Over the years, we've had uh, many Norwich City footballers um, as customers. Um, in the 70s, it was always a difficult problem fitting their thighs when the trousers were flared and tight on the thigh, uh, which was always amusing. Um, and following those connections, we also did Norwich City football clubs uh, suits for the whole team over numerous years. Over the years, especially in the earlier days where uh, there weren't so many shops, so the labels were in certain 
areas. We used to get people come from all over the country, really. But a lot of footballers um, come in on a Saturday, buy clothes. The Liverpool football team came and bought suits off us. And then they play Norwich in the afternoon. Uh, we got to know Robbie Williams very well. He used to come to Norfolk quite a lot, see, stay with some friends of mine. Um, and I opened the shop up for him in the evening and he, he was great and um, there's a few labels he liked from us and he, he bought a little bit. Over the years we've had some tremendous staff. Um, in fact Rodney uh, has been with us nearly 50 years um, having started in 1971 and we've had about five staff at the moment who are between 25 and 30 years service. All of them have been a mainstay of the business and have personal connections with a lot of our customers. And um, it's, it's been fantastic that they've kept with us all these years. Yeah. Hi there, I'm Phil Welsh. Hi there, I'm Rod Canham. And between us, we just realised we've done around about 80 years between us. So what's kept you here all this while, Phil? Uh, well, just a well, great atmosphere, isn't it? As we've said before, it's like a family atmosphere, isn't it? And uh, just the customers. I like the clothing as we all do, uh, and it's just such a great atmosphere, isn't it? You know, it's, it's one of those play times when you go home and you think, yeah, I'm glad I chose this job. Our shops have evolved over the years and we want to be all things to all people and we want to inspire. We've got something different in each of our shops and we want people to know we sell high quality clothing that will last for a long while. We've always wanted to attract the people in the late teens and for them to stay shopping with us as they get older. When I look back now in the past and I think about what they've done, I'm so pleased that it's gone that way and it's so wonderful. Um, looking back, I think uh, it's just been a fantastic time. I think uh, it's been so enjoyable and also to have business which was not quite so competitive, but you still had to be good. And it was just a change of fashion and the excitement and also having such amazing customers, really, who were really, you know, interested in our brands. Um, so the whole experience has just been, well, to try and do that now would be very difficult. So we timed it well. We've seen many fashions come and go over the years. And it's always been the case of deciding which fashions to follow. We've seen it all and we've catered for most of it.